79回日本語の文法のクラス JLPT N3 こんにちは、スー先生です。皆さんお元気ですか今日は日本語文法の第19回のクラスです。From today, I'm going to explain all the grammar of JLPT N3 that we have to write the particle with. When you study grammar that you write in connection with a particle, it is always good to read and study the sentences with the particle several times. Otherwise, it is common to use awkward expressions later by making a sentence with the wrong particle. Please add the ni particle to the grammar that you are studying today. Today is the first class of grammar that you must To write with ni particle. Let's learn four grammar rules together. Number one, ni chigai nai. Meaning is I'm sure, no doubt that, without a doubt. Formation is a verb casual plus ni chigai nai, noun plus ni chigai nai, na adjective ni chigai nai, e adjective ni chigai nai. The expression is often used by the speaker when he or she is really 100% and definitely. Sure. It can be used when the speaker is making some assumptions, but the degree of confidence in the assumption is very high. Use it when you want to express confidence much stronger than just ex- estimating. Taro. And that do omoimas. So, shall we take a look at the examples using these expressions? It must be easy to study because it is similar to English grammar and Spanish grammar. 英語の文法と Spanish 語の文法と似ているから勉強しやすいに違いないです。I studied hard every day, so I must pass the JLPT and three tests. 毎日一生懸命勉強したから、今回の JLPT N3 に合格するには違いないです。Tom lives in Japan, so he must be able to speak Japanese well. Tom さんは日本に住んでいるから、日本語が上手に話せるに違いないです。He must be very angry because he won't answer no matter No matter how many times I call, 何度電話しても出ないからとても怒っているに違いないです。Number two, にかけて meaning is over a period of time through concerning an area of expertise. Formation is verb dictionary form plus koto plus にかけて noun plus にかけて This grammar pattern is often used by speakers when they are confident that their skills or knowledge In certain fields, in superior to others. Therefore, the following sentences are used to express evaluation. Let's see some examples using this expression. I think Mr. Tanaka is a second to none when it comes to knowledge of mathematics and science. Tanaka さんは数学と科学の知識にかけては誰にも負けないと思います。This little udon shop is not so well known to people, but it Tastes better than any other udon shop. I recommend it. この小さなうどん屋はそんなに人に知られていないですが、味にかけてはどこのうどん屋よりも美味しいです。おすすめします。One thing to be careful about in this expression is that if this expression is used in conjunction with the term of time, it is used over that period. For example, 今日本の東京では2週間にかけてオリンピックが行われています。Like this sentence, it can also be used as a simple meaning of over time. Number three, に関する The meaning is concerning, about, with regard to, related to, in relation to. The formation is noun. Plus, ni kan suru, ni kan shite. I just want you to remember that this expression is used with the ni particle without any modification of the meaning of the word kan suru, so the relation regard. If you look at the examples together, you will find it easier. Mr. Tanaka has been listening to hip hop songs recently. Mr. Tanaka seems to be interested in hip hop music. Tanaka さんは最近 hip hop ばっかり聞いていますね。Tanaka さんは hip hop に関して興味が出たようです。I met Linda for the first time in a long time yesterday. 
and talked a lot, but her knowledge of Japanese culture was considerable. I was impressed. 昨日久しぶりにリンダさんと会っていろいろお話ししましたが、日本の文化に関する知識は相当なものでしたよ。感心しました。Number four. に変わって。Meaning is instead of, on behalf of. Formation is noun plus に変わって。Please remember that this expression is used in conjunction with the ni particle because it does not change the meaning of kawate instead of just like ni kansu. Then let's see examples. Since the director is on a business trip today, I will explain and guide about the company on behalf of the director. 本日は部長が出張のため部長に代わって私が会社の説明と案内をします。A new security system will be introduced from next term. This system will do the job of protecting the building on behalf of the guards. I think it will reduce labor costs. 今期から新しいセキュリティシステムが投入されます。これは警備員に代わってビルを守る仕事をする予定です。人件費の削減になると思います。That's all for today's class. Today, we learned only Four expressions in JLPT and three related to the knee particle, and we will continue to have two more classes related to the knee particle. So, if you want to connect to today's class and master JLPT and three grammar, don't forget to click the red subscribe button and like. Also, comments related to the class are always welcome. It would be my happiness and energy to. Make the next class. よろしくお願いします。それではまた。今まで数先生でした。